local coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. Change is the name of the game when it comes to hoops at the Gate Center. Last season, the Dons making the change from the Summit League to the Horizon League. This season, they're looking to change their fortunes as both teams finishing 10th in the conference standings. The PFW men and women with their first official practice of the year and our man Colton Howard has the story. Coming off an 8-15 record overall, winning just 30% of conference games, Purdue Fort Wayne men's basketball is taking last year as a learning experience and are reloaded for year two in the Horizon League. I feel like last year just gave us a more, more of an edge about us. Um, you know, we're just ready to ready to compete and, and get out there, really. We got, you know, a lot of talent coming back. I mean, particularly, you look at our, our perimeter coming back. There's a lot of experience. The other side with the newcomers, now all of a sudden you have depth. Damian added to the roster. Quentin added to the roster. You know, you got a lot of depth on the perimeter. And speaking of new faces, PFW women's basketball welcoming in a new name as well. But the city of Fort Wayne is no stranger to Maria Marcasano. The Elmhurst grad will be tasked with turning a one-win Mastodon team from a season ago around as the new head coach. Coming back home, it's been it's been surreal. You know, I'm not going to shy away from saying there's a little bit of added pressure on my shoulders because I want to do so well for my hometown and for my city, and I want the city to be proud of, you know, the product we put out there. But, you know, I like I said, the girls have bought in and they're taking ownership, and I think they're being realistic. They know this isn't going to change overnight, and they know it's going to take a lot of work. We're not going to be the biggest team. We're not going to be the fastest team, but we're going to be the hardest workers. I mean, there's no off, we're not gonna take any plays off. We're going to push each other. And if we're having a bad game, we have four other girls on the team that can step up on the court. 